Let's talk about a side plank variation that can be really helpful whether you're having a hard time finding your abs, keeping it out of your back, keeping it out of your shoulder or neck. Basically, we're gonna turn the side plank into a full body exercise. So when you're gonna do this, we're gonna think about how we can use pelvis muscles to change the position of our pelvis to improve resting tension in our abs as well as improve our stack of our rib cage over our hips. So we think about being in a side plank, we're trying to think about being in good posture, being able to maintain that brace while still expanding into our backside ribs and front and back chest wall. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take one leg in front of us and I'll show you this angle first and then I'll go to my side. And so you can think about how maybe your pelvis might have a tendency to fall towards more of an anterior pelvic tilt. And you can see how that would then overly lengthen the front side of my abs, making it harder for me to engage and affecting how my diaphragm and pelvic floor can function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about dragging my heel back towards me to engage my hamstring, but instead of my knee bending or pulling myself forward, it's gonna rotate my pelvis under like a wheel, taking my sit bones through the back side of my knee, and you can see how that improves the stack of my ribs over my hips and connects my abs on the front side. Then we're going to think about squeezing a beach ball between your legs and thinking about engaging that top leg adductor and bottom side abs to kind of connect everything together and close it off so we're not in this open and kind of splayed position. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto your form, you're gonna make sure that your shoulder is right over your form at that 90 degree angle throughout. You're gonna take your top leg and cross it in front of the bottom leg. You can always do this at an elevation and knowing that the higher you go, the easier it'll be. And again, it's about setting your body up so that you can maintain that breathing under brace. So some people might be able to hold the plank from the ground, but not necessarily feel it in the desired places or fall into a shallow breathing pattern, which defeats the purpose of it. So choose the height that's appropriate for you. You're gonna have that bottom leg straight. You're gonna think about driving that leg into the ground as if you're taking your leg away from the midline to engage your side butt muscle, your glute med here. So we're gonna be here. You're gonna think about dragging that heel back to think of your sit bones coming through the backside of your knee to find that hamstring. You're gonna think about squeezing your legs in towards each other. So that bottom hip bone and top knee kind of engage. And it won't necessarily be a fall in, but more of that isometric hold. So that should make you feel your inner thighs engage. You're gonna inhale, exhale, lift up, pushing that bottom leg into the ground and keeping the line between your chest and your belly button. Everything's in the same plane here. We wouldn't want to twist in it and everything's just slightly tipped towards the ground to make sure that you're keeping your abs and not your back. So then as we're here, you're just going to hold and breathe. Inhale into your backside and hips, feeling that chest wall expand forward and back. Exhale, bottom up, abs and ribs knit in towards each other keeping that hamstring engagement and that squeeze the whole time that you're there, making sure you haven't shifted forward or dropped down in that position. Hopefully, giving that little bit extra connection through your pelvis and hips will help you find more lower abs in that exercise, as well as give a little boost to the adductors and hamstrings that might need some work that could be affecting why your pelvic floor or diastasis aren't necessarily connecting as well in other exercises, and also help unload your shoulder so it's not having to do all the work. So hopefully you enjoyed that fun little variation and can find a plank that fits best for your body.